Hey guys, it's your boy Metagross here, back with a new video for you guys today, and today we'll be doing the Tactical Team Builder's counterpart, the Ladder Lasher Live, that goes along with the videos, or the team rather, that we built in this week's video for Tactical Teams on Tuesday. Now, I already said this in the Tactical Team Builder, but this week is a special condition because this week is a special dedication video and theme as well. Uh, so let's acknowledge the occasion by saying happy birthday to Miss Angel Bomb or Desi Bay or Desiree for that matter. This is her six favorites and yeah if you missed the team if you missed the team builder or haven't seen it or whatever i encourage that you go check that out before you watch this one this video because if you don't check it out you won't know what we're running well you will you'll see it but you know it's good to know beforehand so you're not confused when you look at the screen that you're looking at right now so i'll give you a couple seconds to switch between videos all right, so now let's go ahead and I'll go over just a little bit about what the team composition is. We have Thunderwave Offensive Mecha Gardevoir because I have never run Thunderwave Gardevoir. And I figure, hey, why not run it? We have Defensive or Max HP, Max Special Attack, Offensively Defensive or bulky offensive Swampert, special Swampert with Stealth Rock. And we have the Mon that I'm hoping to have the most fun with, Moxie Madness, or Scarf Moxie Her or Moxie Heracross, Moxie um, Percodile. Hopefully he puts in that much work as he did in the video that I included in Monday's video's description. The week of the PPC in which Miss Angel Bomb takes Scarf Crocodile to town on Jared. To town. I will link it in this one as well for those who have not seen it, who want to see it. I'll link it down there as well so you can check that out and die laughing like I did when I watched this myself. And next we have the reason why this team is in Ubers. It is one of her favorite mods because it's purple, because purple is her, shining, her favorite color apparently. And I said this in Team Butter as well, but this is the reason why this team is in Ubers because Lugia is in Ubers. And I can't run a Lugia in OU as much as I want to, unless I run it in Gen 7 Ubers or Gen 7 OU, which I'm not doing because I'd rather not start Gen 7 until I get back from the trips that I was mentioning in the Team Builder. And the reason why I'm recording all four of these videos today, super late at night. Breaking the fourth wall, by the way. Already did it though, but it's okay. Next we have Moo Moo, our memesy PPC Mel Tank. And that's not a funny story, and I hope she doesn't hate me for saying that funny story, but it stuck with me. It, it's priceless. I don't know. Standard defensive mill tank, body slam, stallish set. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. I would won't. Honestly. Then last we have the Bisharp, which is Life Orb, Offensive Swords Dance, Sucker Punch, yada yada, yada standard set. Honestly, as I was building this team, I was telling Desiree, I said, I'm about to get torn apart in Ubers. Let's hope I don't get torn apart, but if I do, please don't hate me. I don't typically play Ubers. I don't intentionally intend to play Ubers at any time either because too much power, too much god tier. I just, I, I don't like it. It's just, you know, it's the same generic stuff and it's just like, how much fun is this? Like for example, Aegis Slash. All Aegis Slashes. King Shield, well, not all of them, but most of them. King Shield Weakness Policy. So, uh, the, it has the Swords Dance and it has the Shadow Snake. 
or Ironhide for that matter. Then you have things like Mega Kangaskhan. Who doesn't run Mega Kangaskhan in Ubers? It's so repetitive, it's so broken. I don't like Ubers. I haven't played Ubers in a very, very long time. So if I suck ass or get torn apart, I apologize. Please don't hate me. I'm not this bad as team. I'm not this bad at battling. Even though week one kind of showed me was bad, but I'm gonna stop. I'm going to stop insulting myself and making myself look worse than I already do. Let's go ahead and get into the battles so that I don't waste any more of y'all's time and we can be productive. So yeah, maybe I'll get torn to shreds. Maybe I won't. Let's find out. But regardless of what happens, happy birthday to Desiree. I hope you enjoyed this little this little appreciation gift thing that I thought of a few weeks ago, but was for some reason still afraid to ask you about. I don't know why. I I, I don't know why. I, I, I don't know. I'm never going to know. Don't ask. I don't know. But yeah, let's get into the battles. Hopefully we find somebody who isn't playing in Gen 7 meta. I wouldn't be surprised if everybody was playing in Gen 7 meta. But then again, I wouldn't be surprised if everybody's playing because it is kinda late. But we found a team, we have... This is an Ubers team? Really? This is an Ubers team? Why is this Ubers? We have Delphox, we have Skarmory, Espeon, Charizard, Breloom, and Floatzel. This is an Ubers? Huh. It doesn't look like an Ubers team to me, but in any event, let's get going. So, I want to say that the Skarmory is the lead, and I'm realizing I don't know what I'm going to do about Skarmory, because... I don't have Defog on the Lugia because I'd rather not have it. And I don't have a hazard removal otherwise. Um, I think what we'll do is lead with Young Mumu as the Espeon leads. Beautifully predicting me there. Um, to predict me to lead the rocks setter, which is exactly what I did because I was predicting Skarmory and Skarmory can't do much to me um, but We know for certain that this is a magic bounce set because of how it led we know for certain it's magic bounce I'm not putting rocks up. I'm gonna go for protect and find out what it is that you want to do you're going to What did you do? Ooh, this is a trick set. Um, I don't want anybody tricked necessarily, but I wouldn't mind choice specs muddy. So I think I'm gonna make the play into the Oh, you are predicting me. All sorts of ways. All sorts of ways. Um and this is a very, very scary situation because Icy Wind is in this built for this specific scenario, except this is supposed to switch in later. But my opponent's in a very good position at this present time. And he doesn't know yet that I'm not Sap Zipper, so I'm gonna make the play. And what did you do? Did you block punch me? You bullet seated, okay. Oh wow, so that's going to leave a mark. What the? <laughs> well, I'm playing very bad. Um, and I already, I already knew I was gonna get torn to shreds. So, yeah. Oh, he's swords dancing. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. We're kind of just stuck here. As he just rips me to shreds. Cause he's just gonna sit here and do that and obliterate me before I can I see him. Um, so, rip that dream, um, 
he's probably focused us. At which point, I kinda... Actually, do I get blown away? No, God of War cleans up this game. So I just need to break the sash. Oh, but you know what? The... The, um... The... Mod Punch obliterates me, so... I'm gonna go for Psychic here. See what he does. Does it... Does Psychic scare him out? Probably not. Does he know that I'm running Psychic? He doesn't scare him out. I can eat that though, depending on how many hits it rolls. Yeah, eat it. That knocks him down to a sash, exactly like I, just, like I expected. I'm going to go ahead and kill him off now. Or attempt to, as he puts me to sleep again and swords dance in front of me again. I'm kind of in this position where I'm realizing I should have put safety goggles on this instead of leftovers. But I'll play Ubers off enough for me to know that. So you'll notice how Mod Punch does absolutely nothing, even with plus three attack. I have to get rid of this Breloom before I can do anything. Did you get a crit? You get a crit, and I still lived. Psychic comes off and kills him. Excellent job. Lugia's over here. As his name says, I'm just here. Leave him be here. Espeon comes out. It's going to reveal to me whether it's scarfed or not. I'm going, or, uh, it's, what, what is it tricking? I'm going to assume it's a scarf. It is, in fact, a scarf. That, oh, it's specs. That's even better. I can specs a, um, ancient power off. He gets leftovers. It's not the worst case scenario for me. He's got Shadow Ball, he's gonna knock me out. Okay, so he's got a leftovers. Espeon sitting on the field right now. I go to Moomoo here. And protect, because I know what he's going to do. He very well might just switch out. No, he's gonna put stay in and I'm gonna protect. As we guarantee, oh yeah, he's, yeah, side shock, okay. Sideshock is the play. I'm gonna click Body Slam on my play. He resists that. I did 7% damage. Look at how pathetic that is. 7% damage. Skarmory is in fact Rocky Helmet. So at this point, as much as I want to put rocks up, I know the Espeon is gonna come in. So I'm gonna click Milk Drink. Or it could have come in. He clicked Brave Bird on me? Yeah, he clicked Brave Bird. Interesting. He click Brave Bird. I can sit here and take those for days. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sit here and take these for days. Maybe it'll force him out. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, it forces him out into Delphox. I catch that. Um, and I click Body Slam here because I see no reason to protect other than Will O Wisp. Good job. But I hope you realize, yo, yo, even Burn, that did 15% goes to show you how frail defensively uh, Del Fox is but that's what I was going for is the protect he's going or the uh, paralyzation which worked out in my favor body slam come through he's free to go to the skarmor here no he doesn't he just stays in but you'll notice how little damage is doing on my end as well because of the burn um, at this point, I'm going to milk drink. Honestly, I think that this is probably going to be two games instead of one. He got a special attack decrease from Fire Blast. I don't exactly know. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Or oh, Mystical Fire, that's what it is. Wait, what are you... This set's very confusing. He's running Mystical Fire. Um, he's running Mystical Fire on his Delphox and I'm just free to sit here and kind of just stall you out not very did you get not very well but you know something is better than nothing right body slam come off he's he's free to he's free to I don't know <laughs> uh, let's just do what we can with this I'm realizing though Oh, 
I see what you're doing. You try to double protect. Get off my screen. Get your born boy ass off my screen. Even though you're not burnt and you or yeah, or you're not burnt and you can't be burned. So I'm gonna milk drink here. Go ahead and catch some HP. I'm about to burn. Um, and I'm gonna keep body slamming until I die. Until he quits me and kills me, I'm going to click body slam. He's gonna do that. It does about 11%. That's not bad. This is only four I or four EVs into attack, by the way. In case you didn't see the team builder, it's only four. EVs in attack, otherwise it's max HP, max offense. Body slam comes off. Um, he keeps wishing, that's what it is. Okay, so it's a wish protect set. Okay, so if you're gonna protect, I'm gonna rob. He's paralyzed, but he still catches his wish. Um, we're gonna sit here for a little while. I apologize. If you wanna get out this video, you're free to. Honestly, I don't want to risk him. I don't. I don't want to give him the. All right. So that kills me. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Um. My play at this point. I should have run HP fire on this. Uh, my play at this point is into this. To click knock off because yeah click knock off because he's paralyzed he's free to sack that hockey him oh my god yeah Skarmory comes out um, he's gonna be the whirlwind set so I'm just gonna click clicking knock off that does so much damage oh my goodness He clicked Roost there. Um, at this point... Oh, 37% is not a lot. It looked a lot bigger, but it wasn't. Um, I'm free to... I'm free to click... Either... Any one of these, actually. But I feel like he's going to be the Whirlwind set. Actually, maybe he won't. So where's the answer? Because he's not Whirlwind, is he? He's not. He's racing. Yo, he gave me a free sword stance. Okay. Can I... Can I kill him with a knockoff at this point? No, I cannot. Or another one will. He's gonna roll one. That's the play. Into Gardevoir. Who is gonna make evolve here? Um, I should've put Thunderbolt on this. Um, I'm not sure if he has the Thunder Wave. Or the, um... Uh, Iron Head on here. Um... But is that a risk I'm willing to take? Is that a ri yes it mm. Yes and no? Because Floatzel could be scarfed, but I've never seen a scarf Floatzel before. So I'm gonna make the play. Thank you all. Hyper voice. Kill. Thank you. I'm telling y'all, Gardevoir tears through people. Gardevoir destroys. And because the Espeon is not Specs anymore, it is still faster than me. Keep in mind, it is still faster than me. Um, I'm going to predict you a Shadow Ball. Actually, it doesn't matter what you do. You're not locked. Um, you're not locked. I'm a Hyper Voice. Yeah, Shadow Ball comes off. I live the hit. Hyper Voice comes off. Obliterating the Espeon. And I think that at this point, Gardevoir puts in the work. Agrojet could do damage, but we'll see. What did you do? What did you just do? Oh, Floatzel is choice scarfed. Okay, but y'all know Gardevoir could have put in the work. But if he's choice scarfed Crunch, I'm going to go into this. I'm gonna click knock off. I'm gonna click knock off. He's gonna. He's not choiced? 
Hey, critical hit come through. What was he? A life orb. Huh. Alright, well the uh well the um life orb knocks me out as well. So now it's Charizard against Crocodile. Scarf Moxie Crook. But the problem is if that's Mega Zard. Crunch to it KOs. Crunch to it KOs. Can he want to KO me? Fuck it. It's Megazard Y. But I want to KO him. Holy shit. I want to KO him with Crunch. I don't know how that happened. I don't know how that happened. But yo, Desert, your team is wild. Oh my god. I thought I was gonna get blown back. Wow. Scarf Moxie Crook put in the work. Gardevoir put in the work, yo. And freaking, yo, know, this, this, uh, I, I was doubting this team. Nah, uh, <laughs> I have, uh, I have no reason to doubt this team. But what I'm, what I'm thinking is we will do probably one more battle with this team. Okay, see, now this, this, and this is a new burst team. This is a very ground weak team we have Kiram Zekrom just regular Kiram ironically Kiram Zekrom Cobalion and the and the Lucario which is probably Mega Lucario all weak to ground we have Greninja which is Protean and we have fake out life orb um, Weavile on here most likely um, I'm gonna lead with your girl Moo Moo here. The Kurum led. Okay. I see no reason not to put up rocks right here. I'm not gonna do that. He's gonna blow me with a Dragon Pulse and do zero ish damage to me. I'm going to Body Slam because I can live another one. I can live another one after leftovers, so or I'm not leftovers, I'm sorry, I can live another one. Um, but I think Mil Tank did what it needed to do. Put up the rocks, and he doesn't have a spinner in his team, I don't believe. And yeah, oh my god, okay. He put up hail? This man put up hail? What are you doing? Why are you putting up hail? I'm gonna milk drink here, because he can't kill me. Why am I why am I faster than Akira? Why am I faster than Akira? This is not making sense. This team is not making sense. How am I fat? How is base 100? Oh, you know what? Because Miltank is base 100. Because Miltank is base 100. Which means that this Kiram is not invested in speed. Which means it's a max HP Kiram. Probably, yeah, it's, it's looking like it's a max HP. Based on the app. Oh, we got a speed decrease. What are you doing? Gla oh, he was using Glaciate. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. He outspeeds me. Oh, well, rip. He outspeeds me now. His hail's gone. Um, but let's be honest. Scarf Crook kind of just puts in the work here. Uh, do I know for certain when he's scarfed? He is not scarfed. Um, and his speed stat is 95, mine is 70, but I'm choice Scarfed, so I outspeed him. So I think it's time for Scarf Moxie Crook to put in the finest. Engage Moxie Mayhem right now. Good night. Oh. He put up hail. What is this man doing? Fuck it. Let's do it. How is he living that? Oh, how did he live that? Oh, wait. Wait. I thought it was super effective. I'm stupid. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, But what is my... I think my base speed on the Bisharp is 80. So he would outspeed me and kind of just wreck lives. So I think Lugia is the play here. Uh, Luke is gonna be the play here as I go to Ancient Power here. 
I got the booze. I got the booze. <laughs> got it. It's a 10% chance I got it on the first ancient power. Please forfeit. Please for uh huh. No. Okay. So he's scarfed, most likely. Ancient power is my play. Regardless of what happens, ancient power is my play. Uh he's not scarfed, but that's not gonna do anything. Lol. Lol. I'm eating those. I'm eating those. Bro. I'm eating those. I'm free to comment here. Once. Bro, I'm eating those. Okay, not the. Oh. Okay. So, my greed is my downfall. No, it's not. Yo, what's happening? What is happening? <laughs> I'm still not dead. <laughs> but you know what? Whether or not I die right here, I put in nothing but the finest of work right there. Nothing but the finest. All right, so the question is, do we know he looks like he is not scarfed? I was going to say he looked like he was scarfed, but he's not scarfed. If he's not scarfed, is anything stopping me from clicking hyper? Yes, the Cobalion is stopping me from clicking hyper boys. Uh, but at that point, I might as well click Psy Shock on him when he comes in. So we're going to trace the Terra Volt. I'm going to Mega Evolve here, and I'm just going to click Hyper Voice. Because let's tear some people apart. Good night. That kills that thing, and everything else comes in on rocks now. Everything else comes in on rocks now. I wish I had Focus Blast, but Greninja comes in. It's Protean. It will be faster than me, because it's fast half. I'm going to actually click Thunder Wave here. I'm faster than him. How am I faster than him? How am I faster than Greninja? He clicked Hydro Pump and he didn't even do half. Come here. Come here, boy. Good night. Kills that thing. And Gardevoir is just sitting here. Gardevoir is just sitting here. Alright, so at this point, this thing outspeeds. I click Hyper Voice anyway. What is happening? What is happening? Why was why was this thing not your play immediately? Okay, so at this point I have a couple options. Sack off Guard of War to Thunder Wave. No, don't sack it off because because Cobalion is a thing. Um, and so is Earthquake. But let's do this into this thing. Catch the Iron Head. Eat it, ish. Yeah, Iron is the play, as I figured. And my play is Earth Power here, because Earth Power anything. Something that he's not scarfed, that's fine. Close combat comes up, Earth Power decimates his life because of his defense drop. Decimates his life. And all he's left and all he would have had left was the Mega Lucario, which again, God of War tears apart. So oh my god, this team is putting in the work right now. But, because that one was a bit shorter, well, not really. Um, let's see. I might throw another one in. Let's go ahead. Let's throw one more in. Because this team is putting in the work. We're currently, what are we, 2-0 and o right now? Yo. Yo. This, uh, this, this team might be the one we lose to. That's okay. Mega Venus. Oh, I don't know which one is Mega. Because there's three potential Megas. It's probably defensive Mega. Uh, it's probably defensive, um, defensive Venusaur, Baton passing, speed, speed boost, Baton passing, Blaziken, Mega Gardevoir, Darkrai, Empoleon for hazards, and removal. And then the Rotom Wash is physically defensive as the, um, as the. Um, Empoleon is especially defensive, and I'm looking at Blast Trap now, and I'm realizing I don't have a fighting type move. <laughs> but the Darkrai looks like it's gonna be the lead. For which case. Yep. Darkrai's the lead. Do you you? You do you. I'm gonna go ahead and anticipate that. I'm just gonna protect. He's gonna Dark Void. Yep. Dark wood. And see, this is why I hate Ubers. 
This right here is why I hate Ubers, and that's why I'm gonna keep this in here. But yo, I ate that. I got my rocks up for free ish. Um, Ice <laughs> did 15% damage to me. Bro, bro, protect. Dark void me. Yep, dark voids again. Protects it. Um, I can't do anything else to him, but I can't have anything else sleep. Um, so I could do a thing actually. I don't want. So you know, okay, at this point, the one thing that I would mind sleeping is this thing. Go ahead. Yep, that's gonna knock me out. He's gonna be bad dreams like he always is. I'm going to attempt to wake up as I try to scald here. He's gonna use nightmare like he would normally. I'm still sleeping. Bad dreams does this work. As you'll notice, I'm kind of sacking, but I kind of have to. But then it wouldn't deal with this thing. Got up, scald, did so much damage, and it secures the burn. Perfect, 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 perfect. Um, I don't have any recovery on this, so do you. Scald, is he gonna dark void again? No, he's not. I live, Scald comes off, picks off the guard, picks off the dark cry. Good job to you girl, or your, yeah, your boy, Mo, your boy, Muddy. I almost said girl. Um, now, Swampert's speed in comparison to, um, in comparison to Venusaur's, I believe Venusaur is faster. So at this point, I am forced to click Icy Wind and Sack. He is faster, he's gonna Earthquake and knock me out. He's predicting me to switch into something, but I'm not gonna switch into something. Because I don't need to switch into something. I'm gonna go into Mill Tank here and I'm gonna body slam him away. I'm gonna protect to see what he does first, then I'm gonna body slam away. Maybe he switches, I don't know. <sighs> Let's see what happens. Yo, but to think I actually got a forfeit in the last game is unreal. Unreal. <laughs> unreal. He's gonna leave Storm, that's fine. Um, he wants to leave storm, he can leave storm all he wants. I'm gonna go ahead and just click body slam because I see no reason not to. And my um, my girl Moon Moon here is going to outspeed him because 86, I believe, is his speed stat versus my 100. Holy shit, that did so much damage. He's gonna lead seed, that's fine. Um, he lead seeds, I go directly into this to break the lead seed. He's gonna leave storm. Look at that. We're eating those. We're eating those. And I'm free to click Calm Mind here, right in front of him, because he can't do anything to me. He cannot do anything to me, because I'm a flying type. Maybe he can roar me out, but I've never seen, well, I don't commonly see um, roar Venusaur. I don't anticipate that being a thing in Ubers either. Could be, I don't know. But. I'm gonna go ahead and calm mine here because he cannot do anything to me. I can just be here, as my name identifies. I can just be here and do what I'm doing. He's going to do. Oh, he's gonna do a switch in the guard of war. That's an interesting play. I'm going to click ancient power because plus one ancient power does the work. Nah, yeah, really. What did you do? Oh, you're leftovers. Oh, he's leftovers. Dest Ooh, I see you big dog. Leftover is Destiny one? I see you big dog. Okay, I'll play this game with you. You do that, I'm just gonna calm mine on this turn. You're just giving me calm minds, dude. You're just giving me calm minds. Shadow Ball, super effective. I'm eating those. I'm eating those because of the calm minds. I'm eating those. Click ancient power. Does not kill. Shadow Ball comes off again. It's fine. We're eating those. Look at that. We're eating that. We're eating it. Recover as he tries to Destiny Bomb. He's psychic. Oh, he's psychic. Lol. He's psychic. He can't do anything to me. Look at this. He can't do anything to me. He can't. Boing. I. Oh, I 
feel so bad. I feel so bad. <laughs> Yo, 99%. Yo, 99% Lugia. 99% Lugia with so many bros. Two combines plus ancient power. Holy shit. I got the ancient power boost. Okay, he clicked Destiny Bond. I don't know if it's this turn that he Destiny Bond's off on. I'm gonna call mine just to be safe. He's clicking Destiny Bond. I am free to just sweep at this point. I'm free to just call mine in front of you until your Destiny Bond's. And there it goes. <laughs> you can't beat it. You can't. Um, you can't beat this. So plus, what was it? It looks as like it was plus six calm mind. Just about plus six calm mind. Plus two ancient power boosts. On a defensive Lugia that wasn't designed to sweep. It was designed to sit here and do what it does. But to think. Using Desiree's six favorite mons. I thought when I was originally going to come into this that I was going to get torn apart. Oh my god. I went ahead and I just said, fuck everything. We're just going to tear some people apart. Well. <laughs> but that is going to conclude this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I hope that Desiree enjoyed this tribute to her birthday and to our friendship a little bit. I figured since I'm not giving you something physically because of a couple reasons, either you don't want it or I can't give it to you or I don't know what to give you or whatever have you, or I'm too afraid to ask of what you, of what you want, I figured, hey, let me give you this instead since I do this now because of you. So I said, let me say thank you in that. So this is my thanks to you and I hope that you enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed doing it because this is killing me. I'm dying right now. Internally, I'm dying. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will see you guys again next week for our final 6th Gen Oras Showdown weeks. Our final set of Oras videos. And after next week, when I return from my trips, we will dive into the world of Alola. We will dive into Gen 7 and what it has to offer in Showdown. But if you don't want to miss out on any updates with regards to the channel, with regards to my life, you know, how my trips went or whatever have you, be sure to follow me on Twitter because I will be tweeting about them either from or when I get back. We'll see. Depends on how the internet's going. And also, if you don't want to miss out on what Gen 7 has to offer us in a week from this video, then be sure, be sure to drop a follow, or drop a follow, drop a, uh, drop a sub down below, and hopefully the content that this channel has to offer is what you're looking for, and I hope you enjoy it. But, until the next time we meet in next week's videos, or in Gen 7, it's your boy Metagross, out.